If you look at the Afghan state today, it barely exists. It exists in Kabul and in a few cities, but if you go out to the countryside, um, there's really no state. Instead, what you have is a series of warlords, commanders, strongmen, militias running about, um, most of whom are paid by us. And if, and if they're not paid by us, then that means that they're the Taliban and they're fighting us. Um, and so it, really the Afghan state, if we think about a state in the traditional sense of the word, doesn't exist. So if you go into the north, which is um, home of a lot of ethnic minorities, Hazaras, Uzbeks, or if you go into certain cities like Kabul, people will say, well, things aren't great, but at least it's better than when the Taliban was there. If you go, however, into the south, uh, into the rural Pashtun countryside, where the war is actually being fought, a lot of people you'll talk to will say things were a lot better in the 90s because as bad as the Taliban were, at least it was, there's no war. At least it was just one side and they were ruling us. And so the real question for the next five years is whether a state can actually form in Afghanistan. And over the last 11 years, a state has not formed. And it seems to me that um, a state will not form for all the reasons why it has not formed for the last 11, 12 years. I mean, the Afghan state itself um, doesn't actually accrue revenue from taxation or from domestic resources. It's almost entirely from foreign patronage. And for all those actors, the warlords, etc., who are around the countryside, they're getting their revenues or their subsistence from U.S. military funding. So that means that five years from now, it looks very likely to be, if there's no money flowing, that perhaps these people will be fighting each other in a civil war. If we really want to leave Afghanistan in a place that's better off than when we invaded, we have to ask the question, how do we create a state that can do that? And that means stop funding militias, stop funding private security agencies, pulling troops out as the only way to really create a sustainable way forward.